Okay, in the segment we will be looking at converting between natural logarithmic and exponential equations. This is the second skill in the exponential and logarithmic function section. So let's go over here in Alex and take a look at a problem. And so they give us this cryptic thing. Uh, we've got an L in here we've never seen before. And they want this converted to exponential. So let's go over here and talk about this a little bit more. And so let's go back again and consult with our notes. Now, first of all, the thing that we want to notice here is that this expression, ln, is an abbreviation for what is known as natural logarithms. But you can see here that they got the letters backwards. Now, the reason for that is that this was all invented by a guy named Napier, who was from France. And over in uh, France, the French language, first of all, always has the noun followed by the adjective, adjective logarithm natural. So basically, this natural logarithm uh, function notation has uh, persisted because of its historical roots. And what it really is, is a logarithm with a base of e. And your next question is, that's real nice and everything, what is e? Well, e, remarkably enough, is the irrational number 2.71828 and so on. And so a logical question might be, well, why would we use this number as a base for a logarithm system, considering that I can't even tell for sure what it is? Well, there are lots of good reasons for that, which many of which are beyond the scope of the course. So let's just take that for granted for now. And we will talk about the whys and wherefores of that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and move ahead and take a look at a problem that Alex gives to us. And we have this expression here. So what we will need to do is to get that copied over here to our notes. And we will take a look at that in detail. OK, once again here we have the natural log of x is equal to 7. Now keep in mind here that this ln notation means the logarithm to the base e of x. And once again, if you forgot here, e is this strange number, 2.71828. But we really don't care because we'll just simply leave that as e whenever it comes up. Think of it as a number like pi. It's an irrational number that's very important to us. But we can't specify exactly what it is. So we will simply call it by its short name of e. So logarithm to the base of uh, e of x is equal to 7. And just like before, we will convert form. Notice here that the base of the logarithm system is e. The logarithm is 7, which means that the exponent is 7. And of course, that must be equal to x. So we will go back over here to Alex. And what we will do then is we will simply put e to the 7th. And so we can hit this button here. We will put in there the e. We will raise that to the 7th power. And we will say that that is equal to x and should be good to go. OK, let's do one more of those just to be sure. OK, we have e to the y equal 8. So what we have here basically is we're going to have basically the same thing, but we've got it in the other form. So if I copy down e to the y equals 8, notice that that is an exponential form, so we will convert that to a logarithmic form. Now, once again, a logarithm, what is it? Well, it's an exponent. What's the exponent here? y. So we know the logarithm equals y. Now, of course, we have to have a base for our logarithms. And in this case, our base is e. So we will put the little e down here. Obviously, we are taking the logarithm of the number 8 in order to get y. But then we realize here that logarithm to the base e is just given the shorthand notation ln, which stands for natural logarithm. The natural logarithm of 8 equals y. So let's go back over here to Alex and put that in. So we will put the natural logarithm of 8 is equal to y. Notice that they don't need the parentheses. I like those because uh, it shows us that it's a function. Oftentimes, they don't do that. Other books do. Alex doesn't. They're happy. 